continue to have a significant portion, and they're both going to be multi-billionaires at the end of the day. <laughs> we have not excluded anyone in this. Uh, whether he's misguided or guided uh, in our way, it's a separate story. But we move forward, and it's also to his benefit, ironically. Right? I think the important thing to note there is if you go back to the original agreement with uh, St. Augustine and Natterport, this framework agreement is always contemplated. So this isn't really anything different. It's just a matter of moving forward as original. the painting. When, when do you want to start uh, commercial production, assuming that everything is okay? Well, we'd like to start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, our current schedule would be to uh, complete the pre to complete the feasibility study. We have more work to do. Complete the feasibility study next year. Uh, possibly begin construction uh, late 2014, early 2015. And we could see some initial production from the heat leach pad in 2017 with the concentrator coming online in 2018. If your stock market listing is uh, started for mid middle of next year? Second half. Second half. Second half. For the Philippine stock. We're listed in Toronto. Mm, but here. In fact, there was already an article attributed to Central Bank Governor uh, Tetanko this morning, but uh, in answer to Kerry about the uh, uh, financial impasse in the United States, and he said the best uh, way to absorb it for the Philippines was uh, FDI, you know, foreign direct investment. And what more is uh, more direct than Tampakan and uh, King King? In fact, the, as far as the American U.S. Embassy and the Euro fund managers are concerned, they made a statement that the mining industry is the game changer for the Philippines. The game changer. Is remember, it's, it's King King, not the first uh, Saint Augustine. Forget Tampaka, that's a different story. <laughs> 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 it's 